believe you're coming back. All right, Bear, we're coming back in just a few seconds, bud. Okay. Chuck, good to see you again. It's really good to see you, my friend. Did I see it was just your birthday? Yeah, I had a birthday a few days ago. It was pretty good. I was uh, celebrating it with my uh, new girlfriend, Laura. <laughs> your new girlfriend, yeah. Laura. Uh, is she a girl that came to work on the farm? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She, she's one of the ones that just stays a little longer. Yeah, she, she came as a volunteer, but right away we saw that that situation was not going to work. So I had to fire her and she became my girlfriend. Oh, oh, oh. So she doesn't have to work the farm. <laughs> well, she still does that. It's just the title changed. <laughs> she just works the farm a little closer to the house. Right? Yeah, right. <laughs> You know, I, I'm a birthday. I just had a birthday too last week. Yeah, I know. I saw. You know, we're Facebook friends, so I check out all your stuff. <laughs> well, I, so that means we're Virgos. Yeah, right. Does it, does it, do, do you feel that being a Virgo makes you better than other people? No, that's not. That's not why I'm better. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, you're one of the luckiest guys I've ever met. Like everything we do seems to turn to gold in a way. And, 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 being a Virgo, that's got to be part of it. I don't know what it is. It's so bizarre, but it's like, yeah, my life is so incredible and so easy and so amazing, and I don't really do anything to make it happen. I just sit back and let it. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, you're up in Yosemite right now. Yeah, right. Yeah, my right. farm's just outside the park, and uh, it's been storming here. It's so beautiful. The, right, the sun is shining through the clouds. It's incredible. Any chance that you'll be out doing some rainbow hunting later on today? Yeah, it could happen. I got my cameras ready, and I'm, I'm, I'm looking for it. Plus, the moonrise is going to be epic tonight. Why is that? Uh, it's going to be full. Yeah, I watched it rise last night. It was amazing, but I think it's going to be even better tonight. Now, uh, the farm's still going, right? Yeah, I'm getting ready to harvest. Um, I harvested most of my fruits. I'm um, going to start some winter crops. Yeah, it's still going. Now, during the winter, do people still come to, to your farm to work? Yeah, they come all year round. It's like I can I have uh, all different kinds of projects going in the winter time. Like uh, I'm doing solar water, and I got some uh, solar cells to set up, and we're doing some tent cabins, and there's just all kinds of stuff to do all the time. Well, you're setting up tent cabins because more and more people are starting to find out about this farm that you have. Yeah, and you know it's not connected to the double rainbow video. It's like they're they're coming in from other from other avenues, and then they find out, oh, and this is the place where the double rainbow video was shot. So it's like, yeah, this place is calling people from all over the world. Well, wait a minute. So the people that are coming to work at your farm don't know that you're the famous double rainbow guy? Yeah, that's really bizarre. It's like this is just how my life is, and then they find out that I'm famous like uh, right before they're gonna get here or when they're here. Now, let, let's tell the people at home, Bear, what, what, what's a normal day for you and your farmers? Well, we usually get up like, you know, 9 or 10 o'clock, have some coffee, get on the internet, and then maybe, uh, 
Maybe we'll go and do some stuff outside, you know, plant some seeds or feed the chickens for sure and the and take care of the dogs and the cats. It's pretty laid back. And then like towards the end of the day when it starts to cool off, then I'll start like maybe harvesting fruits or um, just, you know, doing different little projects all around. I usually work maybe two hours a day at the most. <laughs> Well, that kid up at nine or ten can really throw a throw a wrench in your work day. Yeah, right. You, you did a reality show over in was it Switzerland? Oh yeah, these guys came up from Sweden and filmed me. Yeah, and then I was huge in Sweden for a long time. This stuff like this goes on all the time. P uh, film producers are constantly contacting me, and people want to come and shoot video up here and take pictures of me, and they're talking about flying me over here. And I mean, it's just crazy. I don't really, I, I don't really do. You know, I don't try to make anything happen. But if someone co something comes to me, I respond to it. <laughs> I'm sure you do, buddy. Now, uh, earlier in life. Different things. You weren't always the double rainbow guy who farms the backside of Yosemite. No pun intended. Right. Uh, but you were a a firefighter and a cage fighter. And I mean, how does all this happen to one person? You're well, like, <laughs> I just do what's in front of me. I do what seems fun at the moment. And you know, it's like I never say no. That's part of my credo. It's like I never say no. Like every time you've asked me to be in the show, have I ever said no? Never. <laughs> right? Because I don't say no. The only thing I say is I can't, and it has to be true. <laughs> Are you gonna be down in the valley anytime soon? Yeah, we're thinking about coming that way. We should probably stop and see. I'd like you to meet Laura. I, I'd, I'd love to meet her my, myself. Uh, we want to be come, come up there real soon and visit you. Uh, what, what's a normal stay for a farmer? <laughs> <laughs> Usually they're women. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, but now I have I have a couple of extra. I earlier, I go. He has people that come and farm his farm for him. Oh no no no! He doesn't have people. He has women. <laughs> Yeah, but I have two extra bedrooms and a big tent where I put people in, and so, sometimes I take couples, and so, when I really got a lot of work to do, I'll take guys. <laughs> All right, All right. What's, what's, the, what's the video line? What's, the, what's your web, web address? Oh, it's just uh, Yosemite Bear 62 on YouTube, but you can just Google Double Rainbow, it's so easy to find. Yeah, I have a really interesting video I shot of Laura on a Ferris wheel re recently. That's pretty interesting. <laughs> well, what, what makes that so interesting? Well, she, <laughs> she freaks out. It's, well, why well, go watch it. It's called uh, Double Rainbow Guy's Girlfriend uh, Ferris Wheel or something like that. <laughs> it's really funny. <laughs> if I had to take all of your YouTube views and add them up, how, much, how many views would that be? Uh, it's getting ready to be 49 million on my channel, and then with the other, the spoofs and the songs, it's it's hundreds of millions. Hundreds of millions of views all over the world, and that's why you are the famous double rainbow guy. <laughs> Good to see you. Yeah, see you, Chuck. <laughs> All right. The double All right. Rainbow Guy from Yosemite Bear Vasquez. Look him up on YouTube. Uh, we're going to take a quick commercial break and we'll be right back with more local music. So yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Chuck. Thanks, Chuck. Thanks, Thank Chuck. you, man. Yeah. Silly stuff, huh? <laughs>